My whole world revolves around taking care of pigeons, making the pigeons, going out and talking to people about the pigeons, dressing like a pigeon. It's just part of my love that I've put everything into this, and it's a lot of fun. Hi, I'm Mother Pigeon, the High Priestess of the Pigeon Religion. Welcome to Mother Pigeon's workshop. I've been selling pigeons, I call it peddling pigeons, for 10 years. I'm an artist and I like to make things. I saw someone had made a knitted pigeon and I don't know how to knit. And I thought, well, maybe I can make one for myself out of fabric. And I did and it came out really cute. So I started just making for me, and then I took them to a party and I was working on them and then people got really excited and wanted to buy them and kind of just came like that. I craft a lot of different animals. I craft rats and different birds, uh, sparrows, crows, chickens. I like to focus mostly on urban animals and things that like people see, you know, or that I see. When people buy my pigeons, I am always thrilled. I don't know if you ever had a, a lemonade stand or something like that. It feels like that. It feels like, oh my God. You know, it's just the most amazing thing. The biggest misconception that New Yorkers have towards pigeons is that they are dirty, disgusting, it breaks my heart, but also when I do what I do, I've had so many people come to me and say, you know, I've changed. I now love pigeons. So that's really exciting. Part of my vocation and in the pigeon religion is to just basically get people to see them as the beautiful creature that they are and that we have nature around us we're in nature, we need to be a part of it, and that's what I would love. Springtime is near, Mother Pigeon is here. She is so dear, Mother Pigeon is here. So people will come see Mother Pigeon, she'll have her birds set up, especially young kids. Kids will walk by and they'll just be so enamored with the live birds, interacting with Tina's crafted birds, interacting with the city as a whole, and the nature in the city. I never really think about my life as being unconventional until other people make me notice that I'm unconventional. What I love most about my lifestyle is that I get to do what I want to do every day, which is wake up, feed the birds, admire nature and love the birds, craft, and then going out and selling my craft and having people that love what I do. It's a dream, it's a dream come true. My unconventional life, let's go, go, go. My unconventional life, let's go. <laughs>